Could you imagine a world where the only mode of transportation was horseback, or that you still lived in a cave due to the lack of the needed construction materials? How is it something invented millions of years ago is still used today? Simple objects that are taken for granted on a daily basis mold your past, your present, and your future. Let's learn about the basic building blocks of human technology. What is the one thing that you use daily but never even think about? Trains, tanks, refrigerators, some couches, the computer chair that you're most likely sitting on right now watching this video. What do these things all have in common? The wheel. Just try to imagine life without this basic tool. No car, which means no transportation. That means that everything is probably drug on the ground, on your back, or on the back of an animal. Human progression would have just not happened without the invention of the wheel. The invention of the wheel is dated between 4500 and 3300 BCE. Precursors of the wheel known as tornets or slow wheels were known in the Middle East by the 5th millennium BCE. One of the earliest examples discovered was at Tepe Paradis, Iran, dated to around 5200 BCE. These were made of stone or clay and secured to the ground with a peg in the center, but required effort to turn. True, freely spinning potter's wheels were apparently used in Mesopotamia by 3500 BCE and as possibly early as 4000 BCE. The first evidence of wheels being used in transportation was found in the 4th millennium BCE near simultaneously in Mesopotamia, the Maya Koyop, I probably pronounced that really wrong, and Central Europe. This all happened roughly around the same time frame so there was really no way to credit the original creators or which civilization created it first. Starting from stone or clay, the wheel evolved into somewhat of a more modern version with an axle. This didn't happen until around 3000 BCE. This allowed easier transportation of goods. Once domestication of animals began, humans started slapping carts to them, and humans were able to expand further beyond they could in the past. Poor Ed. The wheel is also the grandfather of the gear, which will be covered in a later video. The wheel, while very crude in the beginning, opened up an age of discovery for mankind. It made travel easier, which allowed the opening of trade routes between different cultures. Human culture spread like wildfire around the world because of this invention. To this day, it is the most used invention of the ancient times. Without the invention of the wheel, basic human progression would just not happen. The invention was almost an inevitability. If this basic tool did not exist, we would be stuck in the Stone Age in small hunter-gatherer communities, a far cry from where we are today, and such a waste of amazing potential. The next ancient invention literally holds the world together. Without it, you wouldn't have a house, basic construction wouldn't be possible, and you'd be damned to an eternity in hell because a certain someone wouldn't be nailed to a cross. The nail is overlooked on a day-to-day -day basis, but is an essential building block to human civilization. This little piece of metal you're using to hang your favorite Hello Kitty poster was once the builder of empires. We would be stuck in an era where buildings were made out of stone, clay, mud, and cow poop. The oldest nails found in human history date back to the time of ancient Egyptians around 3000 BCE. They were made of copper and maintained the same material composition all the way up until the Iron Age. Nails were hand forged and essential to the life of ancient folk. Nails in the times of history were considered so valuable that old homes were sometimes burned to the ground to reclaim the nails used so that they could be used in future construction projects. Nails allowed easier construction of houses, the shoeing of horses, the construction of trade carts and ships. Basic tools with wooden handles used a nail spike to set the metal in the wood. The invention of a simple metal sliver changed the course of humanity. Up until the 1800s, nails were almost all handmade up until the invention of casting in the Industrial Revolution. Nails today are made from a wide range of materials and used in almost every aspect of construction. It's hard to think how one little tiny piece of material changed the history of not just a civilization, but the world. Without the invention of this seemingly small part of our life, things would be completely different. Humans would have to rely on the ever popular glue and rope to fasten things together. Funny enough, without the next invention, that would be impossible. Have you ever been walking around the marina and decided, I want to go sailing today? Yeah, I do that from time to time too. Well, without rope, that wouldn't happen. Without rope, you wouldn't be watching this video from where you're sitting, if at all. Rope was the first fastener. The first traces of rope being used by humanity dates back to 28,000 years ago. It was made mainly from plant material like it is today. Rope was used in basic construction, the transportation of goods, fishing, sailing, etc. Native Americans used the rope exclusively as lashing for their homes, from longhouses to teepees. Their most popular fastener was rope. The Huns and Mongols also used rope predominantly as lashing for their yurts and huts. Most of early humans were nomadic in nature, so this made rope 
very valuable. It is a temporary, reusable building material that was rugged and lightweight, which allowed for quick assembly and disassembly of their residents that allowed them to track the game that they hunt in their migrations. Not until more permanent settlements were formed did rope take a backseat to better construction material like nails like we previously covered. Rope over the years evolved and is the inspiration for the super strong steel cables used in construction today. Without rope, none of the ancient mega structures would have been built. With the use of pulleys and rope, the ancient Egyptians were able to build the Great Pyramid. Without rope, well, it would just be a pretty nice floodplain. Also, bows and arrows would never be invented. Rope was also used by ancient people to create saddles and to pull wooden carts laden with goods. As a 28,000 year old simple invention, rope is still in use to this day and shaped the world on how you live in it. Next time you see a piece of rope, walk up to it and say thank you. You probably wouldn't be sitting here without it. But you want to talk about old. The oldest invention on the list isn't a single invention. Modern tools wouldn't exist without the ancestors that inspired them. Stone Age tools. The oldest that were ever found were found in Kenya. Well, no, 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 get, get that off. The oldest that were found, though, were found in Kenya that date back 3.3 million years. That means we didn't invent the stone tools. That predates genus Homo. I'm not making a gay joke, but it predates human species by half a million years. This is a big discovery and inventions. This means we as a species are not the only ones to introduce technology to the planet. Just imagine Chewie, instead of a bowcaster, now he has rocks to throw at you. Stone tools developed by Homo sapiens range from small cutting blades to the stone adds. As technology advanced with the use of stone, ancient people were able to polish them, making the stone stronger and less likely to chip or crack. This also made them sharper. As technology got better, so did the ability to construct homes, work the land, hunt animals, and also kill each other. Barring the last example, early human society blossomed with the development of stone tools. As humans evolved in the beginning, so did the complexity of the stone tools we created. Evolution fed the complexity of the tools, and some historians think that the tools helped evolve humans into what we are today. Either way you look at it, without the invention of basic stone tools, humanity wouldn't have evolved to the point it is today. We would probably still be hanging around in the tree while the dominant species a hyper-evolved squid. We owe modern technology, even the evolution of humanity, to these simple tools. We will go more in depth with stone tools in a later video showing the evolution of the tools as humanity evolved as well. Following the invention of stone tools, something every hipster needs in their kitchen is the mortar and pastel. The earliest dates for the mortar and pastel put it around 35,000 years ago. The mortar and pastel's beginnings were very rudimentary. Ancient people would put whatever material they would like to grind on a rock and grab a smaller rock and rub it together. I'm not talking about that. But it got them the desired results. Also not talking about that either. It wasn't until later on that ancient civilizations started to craft bowl-like basins to use instead of just rocks. The mortar and pastel was used in the preparation of many medicines and was actually the main tool apothecaries and early practitioners of medicine used. It was also used to crush dried herbs into seasons to spice up favorite meals. The use of mortar and pastel can be found universally all over the planet. It seems like it was such a needed tool that almost every culture and civilization invented or designed one to fit their particular needs. There were also industrial versions of mortar and pastels. Larger versions were used to crush reeds to create papyrus and used in industrial means for crushing raw clay into smaller pieces to help with the creation of brick. It's also been found to not be used so much as an innocent way. You wanna get high? Drug use was also made easier by this invention. The mortar and pastel directly influenced ancient medicine and cooking. If it was never invented, where would we stand today as humanity? Would we have these awesome cool restaurants to go to? Would you even be alive right now? Leave a comment below, we'd love to hear what you thought of it. While the inventions in this video might seem small and basic, they're taken for granted every day. Just try to imagine how we would be able to function today if they all just disappeared. It's amazing how what seems like the most insignificant thing that barely affects our lives when it's the exact opposite of that. The creations by ancient humans are the basic building blocks for modern day technology and life, which is why that is where we're starting in this quest for knowledge. To seek the knowledge of the ancients to better understand the world we live in now. Let us know in the comments below how you think these ancient inventions influenced us. Has the video opened your eyes to the wonderful world of technology around you? If so, tell us. If not, well, go away. Now I know you're looking at that subscribe button. Yeah, you're gonna push that button. Not only will you help the channel out, but you just really want to push that button. It's so pretty. It'll keep you up to date with our content, which we're going to have a lot of it. Don't forget to check out these awesome videos. You know you want to. It's really just, it's really easy. Just, just click one of them. But make sure you click subscribe. That's the most important. I love you.